Hello there, my name is Yolita Brilliant and I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin and today I'll talk about condition called scochondritis. Um, there is um, the confusion with this uh, condition is can be first of all people might think they're getting heart attack which you should always go check with your doctor make sure your heart is healthy but then your doctor probably will tell you okay your heart is fine you only have costochondritis go home it will go away on its own it's just inflamed rib joints and take some you know ibuprofen well let me tell you that's not going to solve the problem usually people i know people that had it for 10 years one of them is this guy that's invented this back pod, which I bought because I wanted to try. You don't have to buy this. There's other things you can use, like the balls, thoracic pivot, uh, foam rollers. To So the thing is, why is this getting inflamed? What's the reason of it? Yes, your doctor is so happy it's not your heart and they're sending you home. But how, but you're still, the pain is really alarming, uncomfortable, you might not even able be able to sleep properly, you have to like lay in a certain position for it not to hurt, you might affect your exercise ability. Um, so I personally got costochondritis for the first time this January after I started doing body pump classes and there was like some you know intense push-ups, things like that, you know lifting weights, um, so I went to my doctor and that's what, you know, they told me inflammation. So I started to do research because it wasn't going away. Um, and now it's almost gone. If I do a little bit more exercise, like with the certain activities, I might still feel it. It was on my left side that I felt the most. That one night I couldn't even sleep, it was so bad. But it's almost gone. So what, what happens is, just because the way our kinetic chain is, the way our posture is, some people might get adhesions and stiffness here in this especially thoracic area, which kind of like glue, and then um, gets so tight, this gets overworked because this still loose but this is not so they should both all of you uh, move in unison when you exercise and do anything but if that's not moving this is gonna get overly moving and that's where that inflammation will come this is when a lot of people don't get told that when they get sent home so what you want to do use stretch that thoracic area you know, with uh, laying on the floor, this is some demoing this on the wall. And then, you know, lifting hands like this helps stretching the pecs too, because tight pecs can also contribute to this issue. The Or using the bad pot. I'll post the link down below if you want to get any of these. You um, can get these on Amazon or direct website from this guy. But yeah, so. I did not stop doing my exercise. Some people say stop doing like your strength exercise because uh, you might just aggravating it. I find that if I'm getting my body stronger, it will work itself out. It, 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 it will be better in the long run. Um, if it's very bad, then you might stop some exercise for some time. Just focus on the stretching. Getting massages, so when you go to massage therapists, tell them you need to loosen that area. Foam rollers help too. And uh, rest and technique. Um, even chiropractic adjustments create uh, space and air between those joints. Um, going to osteopath's doctor. Uh, you want to, you know, anything or anyone that can help you to loosen the back and ribs, pecs, shoulders, posture. Make, check your how is your desk set up or even the way you're driving, you know, how is your posture? Because that will determine uh, the speed, the rate of healing 
and so you don't have to deal with that pain. We offer massage therapy in uh, Vermont, soon in other places perhaps as well. For now we have Burlington and South Burlington locations. Um, and also you can get this online, find maybe chiropractor in your area. All these things will help you because if you just go home and try to pop painkiller or anti-inflammatory drugs, that is not really addressing the cause. We always try to see what is the root cause, even when people come with various things, conditions like performance, sciatica, or even skin care issues like acne. You know, we'll try to see what's causing. Is this something that you're eating? Is this something the way you're doing, moving? Uh, when you know, it comes to body, we are. We are, uh, we are able to heal, our body is able to heal itself given the correct um, activities, um, posture, foods, and help. A really good exercise you can do, take this pec and lift your arm. That way it will help to stretch the pecs. When I had flare-up ones, this really helped me. Also on the side of the door, you can put your hand like this and stretch it. Also laying on the floor, um, you know, you turn your legs on one side and then you do this because you want to create um, movement down here. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have costochondritis, how long have you had it? I'm curious. And what are you doing to get rid of it? Also very curious. Uh, so I'll look forward for these comments. If you have any questions, post them down there too. And uh, have a brilliant Costco free day. Bye.